Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkle. Hello. And we're going to do an update on that Scooby-Doo AI debacle. Now, for those of you who don't remember, a young animator produced an amazing, amazing Rankin Bass homage. And it was uh, Scooby-Doo and Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, normally he would have been uh, very lauded by the animation community, except he decided to use AI voices. Yes. And one of the current voice actors of Scooby-Doo, Gray Delisle, uh, took him to task on Twitter after a tweet from a guy, I guess, that works on SpongeBob. Uh, okay. So, so the guy that put him in the crosshairs of Gray Delisle has apologized. To the best of my knowledge, uh, Gray Delisle herself has not apologized for so threatening to blacklist him. Why did, did he apologize? Because, you know, it bit him in the ass? Backlash. Okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, animation. Not because he meant it, just because he got his yeah, ass I don't, to him. Yeah, okay. I don't think he actually meant it. Uh, animation Twitter is well, X, whatever the hell we're calling it now, uh, they're all united. A lot of times everybody's kind of fighting with each other, mm -hmm. but they're all united against this guy and Gray Delisle. And uh, somehow Vivzy Pop from Has Been Hotel, yeah, she gets mixed up in this whole thing too. Oh so, gosh, it's like a soap opera. It, it is. I mean, that is a typical day. Uh, Stays dealing, of our lives. Dealing with animation Twitter, but we're going to talk about this. Uh, thank you very much to Mike Phelan, who put this article up on clownfishtv.com. Yay, Mike. Yay, Mike. Uh, he's doing good work. They're, they're all doing good. We have two videos today coming from Clownfish TV writers. They are firing on all cylinders, guys. You need to go out and check out this blog. Right. You know, we're, we're trying to do a journalism here. And Pirates and Princesses, too. Piratesandprincesses.net. So please. That's mine. I have a vested interest. He does. <laughs> so. And uh, Mike actually writes for that one. Too, he sometimes. does. Yes, he does. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. It's greatly appreciated. Get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Get woohoo. Get two woohoos if you go to Pirates and Princesses. Woohoo.net. Uh, well, I don't want to give for that one. Uh, I, I don't know. It sounds like, like. There you go. That's a sultry woohoo. Is that? I don't know. I don't do sultry. No, you should, though. Just for me. All right. <laughs> Clownfishtv.com. SpongeBob's Jay Lender apologizes after targeting animator, I think it's Egan uh, Tilgman. Uh, whoever he is, he's very, very good. Go watch the original video to get a little more backstory. But this is the guy, the WGA on strike guy. Oh, that here. guy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That actually put him in this this kid. He's like 23 years old. And this was a college portfolio project. Put this kid in the crosshairs. He tried, the kid tried to apologize. Well, 23 is not exactly a kid, but he's young, young, right? Uh, put this guy in the crosshairs. Uh, that put, uh, he tagged in Gray Delisle. And here, the kicker is, Gray Delisle was upset that Daphne's voice was AI and I believe the, the the voice that they're actually imitating is Heather North's. Well, it's funny because when you listen to it, I remember you saying, that doesn't sound like her, though. I think that's the original actress, you said. Yeah. You said that when before we did the video. But since she was getting so ass mad, I figured it must have been her, given her reaction to it. Yeah, I think, I mean, look, and we, we've gone over this before. We're not going to you know rehash all of that. But I think the, uh, the anger, the animosity coming from Gray Delisle is because... Their jobs are in jeopardy. Yeah, I mean, and like, I mean, they again, are. we said before, and I'll say it again, I understand why they'd be upset by this. I don't blame them for being upset by this because it is a sticking point. Something that they're all, the one thing that we do agree with uh, WGA and the SAG after about is mm. the AI issue. And they can be replaced easily, and it's a scary thing. Don't disagree with that. However, I think it could have been handled in a completely different way. Um, so this is uh, Mike writing it, and he said, yeah, a few days ago we wrote about Egan Tilgman, an animator being targeted by Hollywood for not hiring voice actors for a small fan project. The backlash was swift and it's finally come to a head. The animator issued a statement calling for the Twitter mob to lay off of Jay Lender. So he had to go defend the guy who was putting him in the crosshairs. Right, right. So this guy put him on blast. Yes. And then he had to go and 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 save his ass. He had to go save his that ass. That happens to us all the time. It does happen <laughs> to us. We've actually had to call people off because, uh, you know, a lot of times like I don't think we realize maybe how many people listen to us or how seriously people take things that we say, even if we're not, we're not being serious. And we've actually had to be like, okay, you know what? That's, that's enough. Just lay the hell. The other off. times I'm like, here, here, here's this, here's this dumbass. Have at it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so. But in this case, like all of the animation Twitter is out 
for this guy and Great Allow, which I never thought, I never thought well, I would see bring, happen. They, yeah, they tagged Mindy Kaling in it too, which I didn't understand. I'm like, Mindy Kaling already did her own, you know, her best to ruin. Gray to ruin, wasn't even uh, involved. No. Yeah, Velma. Yeah, to, she, yeah, through yeah. Velma, and neither one were involved in this. And, and Mindy Kaling didn't say anything. I don't believe. You know. Yeah. Um, so this guy was a SpongeBob SquarePants director, and Gray Delisle again threatened to blacklist this guy from the industry for like, what the hell? And vi- we'll, we'll talk about Vizzy Pop because she gets involved in this and she's basically like, well, you have to deal with a bunch of trolls online or whatever. I'm like, yeah, but the difference is this guy wants to be in the animation industry and you are one of the most popular female voice actors uh, working in the industry today. And you are publicly saying he should be blacklisted. Yes. That's a lot different than some rando with an anime avatar. You know, that's yeah. a huge, that's a huge yes. deal. Uh, Lender admits he was wrong to use uh, Tilgman's work as a springboard for his fight against AI and parody laws. He also recognizes that tagging other Hollywood actors in his initial post was a mistake. Uh, Mike says, I also wonder why he tried to involve Mindy Kaling and Gray Delisle, considering neither one voiced the characters during the original 1969 yeah, and, Scooby and, series. Yeah, and the thing is, Gray Delisle just reacted, I think, without checking it. I mean, the guy at least apologized, so there's that, yeah. you know, but I think he kind of had to, and this guy had to kind of, like, you know, step in between him and the mob, even though he is the one that created the mob. Yes. The sweet irony. Uh, Yeah. They turned on you, didn't they, Jay? They turned on you. They used to love you, and now they turn. Well, People it's... were turning against the the strikes because of this. Yes. People were getting mad. They're like, okay, this is how you're going to act, and we're not supporting you anymore. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, between this and uh, overreaching with uh, the YouTubers and the TikTokers and, um, you know, also with, the you know, cutting those side deals, those interim agreements, all this stuff is kind of coming to a well, What's funny to me is his comment was, I don't know what's going on in your corner of the internet, but if my post has caused you any suffering, I'm truly, truly sorry for that. You went out deliberately and tagged people in to try to cause him trouble. You, yes. you knew it was going to cause suffering. Yeah, he said That's why you did it. You put this guy who did a phenomenal piece of work, like you're a director. I don't know how much animation... Uh, you've done yourself, Jay, but this guy was a one man show. He put together one of the most amazing, like just a really incredible piece of animation. Right. And again, I'm, I'm a little I'd bit biased. Hire him if I could, I would hire him in a heartbeat. I'm a little, so I need to scoop this guy up. He's really good. Absolutely. Oh my God. You know, what would be just mm, delicious if Warner brothers hired him to work on an official Scooby-Doo project. And guess who's not getting a phone call? Gray Delisle. <laughs> like, we're going to replace your ass. Not with AI, but we'll go find another voice is, actress. But, I mean, even, okay, even if I'm mad at her, this guy's the one who, who he basically, like, you know, alerted her to go after him. And then he's like, I, you know, oh, oh, my cause, my, my post caused me suffering. This is what makes me mad. I mean, I'm glad he's apologizing. Don't get me wrong. But he deliberately went out there to cause this person suffering. Th- talked about lawsuits and all the other shit. And now, and now that he getting his ass handed to him, oh, I hope I didn't cause you any suffering. If it had gone, the, I know. If it had gone right. the other way, yeah. he'd be like, he'd be like, you know, you know, laughing and you know, reviling in his suffering. He would be, be like, look, we took care of that chud. He's never going to work in the animation industry. I've seen to it personally, you know. So what young animators are seeing, regardless of whether or not they agree with AI, you know, because a lot of them don't. All they see is that the the system, the man, will punish you mm-hmm. for any infraction. Right. And because the, the, these people are so afraid of somebody else getting ahead of them. Yeah. Um, that the intent was not to bring trouble to your door. What the hell was it that? But to illustrate an issue I believe to be of vital importance to vocal artists. Well, it is. But you did do it on purpose to bring trouble to his door. My use of the word law was never intended to suggest legal action against you. Oh, bullshit. But rather a prompt rethinking of apical law and the AIH. Oh, Jay. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, I appreciate your apologizing, but you can at least be upfront. Now you're just looking like an idiot. Tra- tagging in outsiders was the wrong way to do it. There was oh, all shit. explosion. Like, basically, what happened was he basically implied law and lawsuits, and this person should be in trouble. Called this person out by name and and tried to cause trouble. Tagged in, tagged in Mindy Kaling and uh, Great Great Delisle. Delisle. Yeah, and the, the, on purpose. And they really didn't have anything to do with it because it turns out it wasn't actually. Uh, but the, but the point I don't is, and now he's but... like, oh, that was not my intention. Oh bullshit! Like, hell, it wasn't. Bullshit! If it went the other way, you know, you'd be you'd be dancing in the end zone, hundred percent. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. But at least you apologize. I kind of. 
You don't need to lie about feeling sorry. You're sorry people got mad at you. Yeah, you showed the true colors already have it. Yeah. That was not your intention. You could tell what we said. What we said was, you know, if there was a situation like this, they could have used it as a teachable moment in a good way, a positive way, and being like, hey, this is this highlights what we're talking about with AI. Maybe you don't understand that because you know you're new, you're young. And I do think it's a generational differential there too. And then it's like, and you know, maybe we could just, you know, get the actors and we can record it again, just to use an example, you know, to show how this could be harmful, but we're going to make it right. And that's what you could have done. And you could have, you could have spearheaded that, but no, you went out and put his name, a link to it, talked about, you know, how there should be laws against people like him and, you know, tagged in uh, other people to try to, to, uh, to, you know, amplify your post. Oh, basically, sorry I got caught. It's sorry I got caught is what it is. Yeah, and look, I'm not I'm not telling you how you should feel about AI. I can understand I, being I, upset. I understand, I can understand where they're coming from. But you don't but, threaten, publicly threaten to blacklist a college student mm-hmm. for, well, for a portfolio Lyle, piece. But yes. Great Lyle, but she got tagged in. And again, she, it turns out, didn't even have a dog. I thought it was weird because when I watched it, I'm like, that is not Gray Delisle. That is that is the original voice actress. I remember you did watch it. I mean, you were watching because the there's video. a difference. I mean, you there were is. listening to it. I remember this because I was in the kitchen and you were listening to it. And you said you tell me about it. You said, "Oh my god, this is so great! It looks like Grand Compass," and you're you know geeking out over it. I was. And then you I said, was. I don't understand why why they're getting mad. I think this sounds like the original voice actress, not Gray Delisle. And you yeah. said that. Yeah. And but we just assumed well, it must have been Gray Delisle because she's having a mini meltdown over it. So maybe you just misheard it or something. No, and he actually said that it was composited from the original 60s Scooby. That's what I clip. thought so, because they yeah. were trying to look like the original 60s Scooby. So that's why I kind of thought, well, where aren't they? Why would the you old? bring? Yeah, because yeah, I, mean, I can was... see like, I can see maybe Frank Welker got mad about it because he's still doing it. Yeah, he's, he's the only one who's still doing it. But, but yeah. you know, I mean, it didn't make sense to me, but I was like, whatever. And then it gets even worse. So it's it's already bad enough. And then you find out that, 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 that the, the accusations weren't even right. Yeah. I mean, isn't that Always the way it goes. A lot of times, you know, people that go in these cancel culture crusades, nine times out of 10, they don't even have the facts straight. I love this. Funny as shit was you tagging in the talentless hack, Mindy Kaling. What's she going to do about it? Like, I think Gray Delisle's probably pissed off at her because they, you know, changed Daphne and she didn't get a phone call. Well, you so. know what? Here's the thing. They were using, he was trying to use, okay, for someone who wasn't trying to cause harm. Yeah. He was deliberately tagging in the, to the most, um, you know, vis- visible voice actors that work on the show that are on social media to try to, yes. to uh, you know, yes. elevate his post, try to get it out there to get attention for himself. And he got plenty of attention, but it wasn't the attention he was expecting. Yeah. Um, so retreat, retreat, yeah, basically Decepticons, retreat. retreat. Uh, yeah. So now Vizzy pop <laughs> gets herself in this mess too. So she, um, look, I, I have a lot of respect, uh, for the fact that she, you know, got her show picked up just by doing it on YouTube. Like that, that's a tremendous mm-hmm. accomplishment, right? Um, that being said, she does seem to step in these uh, I was online. Like, is there con- a lot of controversy around her and some of her behavior too? Yeah, there was, we did a video a couple of years ago that people were pissed off because her fans went after Scott right, Cawthon. Right, which I agree that was crap. Because of his political donations, I guess. Right, but she, but they wouldn't have had it not been put on the radar. Right, and she was pissed off because he donated to Republicans, and even though he himself does not come out publicly and talk politics, you um, do know this is a crazy thing, guys. Crazy thing. There can sometimes be candidates that that you know are like opposite you. Like if we're Democrat, they're Republican, but they're actually a good candidate, and they might not lean too far into the like you know whatever. And they might have a lot of good things to say that maybe are more moderate, more to the middle, but they happen to be Republican, but they're more to the middle or happen to be Democrat, but they're more to the middle. And you back them because you're like, oh, that's a good candidate. Even though they're not the same party as me, they're a good candidate. That's called critical thinking and thinking for yourselves. And for years, people did that. And some people that are, you know, smarter than others still do that. And they don't have to sit there and be like, I only can vote straight party ticket because, you know, I'm a brainwashed moron. Yeah, people just got crazy, especially during the pandemic. I mean, people had entirely too much time. Uh, Everybody was afraid of everything. They're afraid to leave their houses. They're afraid of their neighbors. Everything was crazy. And so this happened during the uh, during the pandemic. And so apparently, yeah, she kind of put him on the radar. But then I guess his his followers doxed her or doxed her friend or something. So it was like a doxing doxing anybody. Okay, don't dox right now. Nobody should be doxing anyone. But anyway, do not. 
behave in that manner. Do not get involved in that shit. Stay far away from it. If you do not have the right to, to, to dox people. I don't care how pissed you are at them. But I know people, the people I know, and I know who they are, and I could dox them tomorrow. I don't. I yeah. could. Yeah. But I don't. Yeah. So anyway, she steps in. My point is uh, miners have been making shit without AI since the internet began. Um, well, actually, this guy's not a minor. He's 23. But I really don't think anyone I've seen use it knows what blacklisting means. If some voice actor and her friends choose not to work with them, that isn't blacklisting. They don't have the actual power to do that. No, again, I, I, I disagree with this take because, I mean, she does talk about how in this thread that she's gotten into shit drama on the Internet. And she she owns it. She's like, hey, I've gotten into a lot of shit on the Internet. Right. But the difference is Greta Lyle is one of the biggest female voice actors in the industry. And if she's putting someone on blast, uh, chances are pretty good. They're not going to get work. Yeah. But I also know not necessarily because, you know, I, I don't necessarily completely disagree. They're like, basically like, I don't think they know what blacklisting means. Yeah. But it's kind of ironic coming from, yeah, you know, given the situation, yeah. but I, I think that I don't think a lot of VAs do have that power. She might maybe, but I don't think she's as big as she used to be. And I don't think studios care anymore. Studios have gotten rid of big voice actors for less. So I don't know. I think if it's a studio wants to work with the person, if you want the job, you're going to have to play ball. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's that too. And they can replace you. We've seen them do with Scooby people before. And not yeah. even tell you. And it was shitty. It was shitty how right. they did it. Warner Brothers that, you know, they had the, uh, the Scooby-Doo movie come out. They replaced everybody. And Matt Lillard was like, what the hell? I found out by reading Variety that I was replaced. You know, I mean, that'd be a kick in the balls, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, so here's 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 the thing though. The animation industry is small and gossipy and back. That is true. And any of these industries are. I can tell you comics are. Yeah. yeah. Disney comics are really bad. <laughs> but you know. So if you've got people that have enough clout in their social circle saying don't work with this person, just ask anyone who's been like excommunicated from the uh, the LA animation scene, how that goes. It only takes a handful of people saying, Yeah, this person's no good, Nick. Unless you're a bigger get, name than they are. Yes. Uh, they tried to people cancel before that were bigger than them and it didn't work. Yeah. They tried Butch Hartman a couple of times because he's a Christian. Scott Cawthon, I think they came after him because he was a Christian Republican, obviously. And uh, but it doesn't work because FNAF is massive. Now, he actually stepped down voluntarily because he's like, basically, I don't need to deal with this. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. Need so well, sometimes I was pregnant at the time. And it was causing yeah. a lot of stress. I'm like, I don't blame him. Like, yeah, you know I don't what? Blame him either. I'll make a lot of money off you. They got a movie coming out. It's going to make a ton of money. Mm -hmm. You know, that movie's going to make bank. I mean, this guy's going to be making money forever. Same with JK Rowling. Like you don't have to like her. You don't have to agree with her, but she's going to make money from now until the end of time and her kids and her grandkids. They're going to make money forever. You know, this person here, she can't stop herself from jumping into any cancel culture mob. Um, yeah, so I, you know, this is a whole other thing, but it's it, it really was not it was not a good look uh, for this guy working in the industry to put a target on 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 this this uh, young man. Now, the thing is, is, it might actually blow up even more because now other executives might look at this look at his portfolio and be like, "What's the deal with this? Oh, this mm -hmm. is pretty good. I hadn't heard of this before. I hadn't seen his work before. Wow, this is really good." Mm -hmm. and he did it himself. And he did this himself. He didn't blend her, which is amazing. Like, I, I, I'm i like, I thought these were actual stop motion, but apparently he did this in Blender, oh which gosh. is freaking just unreal. I mean, and uh, yeah, so if I were an, an animation executive or I were working for like, you know, Adult Swim or something like that, I'd, I'd be like, if this guy can do this himself with no budget. What could he do if we gave him some money to work with? Mm -hmm. And, and we, could, we could give him a lot less than we spent on things like, you know, that we spent a lot of money on and failed. Yeah. And he'll do better. Yeah. People How are, we say giving him a deal instead of Mindy Kaling? Well, that's what I was going to say. It's like you tag Mindy Kaling in. This puts Mindy Kaling shit to shame. Yeah, like, Mindy Kaling. Oh, God. It's just not a good, not a good idea. But uh, he might actually, he might actually come out ahead. And I do think that things are going to change after the strikes, after the, the dust settles. And I think that this, this AI thing, like, I think that there need to be some guidelines, uh, put in place, but I saw, uh, today that there's, um, was it uh, anime rock, paper, scissors, completely AI generated, I guess, uh, anime on, on YouTube and it's corridor, I think does it. And it's really amazing. Now, do I think it's perfect? No. Do I think AI is perfect? No, but it's a tool that's here 
to stay. It's not it going is. anywhere. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. You know, whether you like it or not. And I think again, there need to be some guidelines and some rules laid down. But this this argument now sounds to me like. 3D animation is not real animation. If you draw with an, a digital tablet, that's mm -hmm. not real art. I do remember that, yes. And people were, they were, I remember uh, comic book artists getting really pissed off about people using tablets because they're like, it's not real comic book art because you're not using actual ink. We should shun these people because it's, you know, they're faking it. They when can just trace. When crowdfunding started, they were like, you know, oh, you're just, you're just e-beggars. E-beggars. publishers. It's, you're not, yes. Now all the publishers are doing it. They're already building AI tools into Photoshop, into all the Adobe mm -hmm. products. It's not going Right, anywhere. but that doesn't mean that there can't be like rules in place so you're right, not just like right. stealing people's voices or likenesses or whatever. And that's what the problem is. And I, where I think you have an argument there, I think there was better ways to handle it completely. Oh, absolutely. So this guy got his ass handed to him. And I think uh, uh, in this case, good. <laughs> yeah, I, like, think I good. didn't mean to cause you Bullshit. any harm. Then why Bullshit. did you name him? Why did you talk about laws? And then why did you go like tag in the other people trying to cause trouble? Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. But at least you try to apologize. But next time, be more at least be sincere about it and be like, yeah, whoopsie doopsie. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I will. I will think harder next time. Yep. I didn't mean to. I golly gee, you got in trouble because of this. Oh, you're just man. mad because it came after you instead. It backfired and blew back on you, and now you're pissed about it. Yep. So let's wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.